we're going to call this one done. If I do change something, it'll be minute, uh, like I've already seen. As I'm sitting here, <laughs> I already see something's bothering me. So we might as well just fix it right back on now. I actually see two things. And again, this, this is stuff that means something to me. The reason I didn't tape the last part, and, and I'm not trying to hide anything. I'll show you guys whatever you want to know. But I spend so much time padoodling at the end, and that's a dangerous thing to do. But I'm really trying to see things that are going to bother me when it's hanging on the wall. And I'm like, ugh. And this little thing right there, it's no big deal. I got two options. Well, I guess I could live with it. Um, I could cover it up, which is what I was about to do, cover that up. Or I could put a little bit more and it bleed in a little bit better. And I think that's maybe what I'll do. Now, I want to just go over it, kill it. But now I'm looking and thinking if I put a little bit more up there, not that, um, not that bright. Um, maybe a little duller than it. Maybe that's the thing that stands out. Maybe there's a little light hitting something back there. I want it to be interesting. This is probably, see that stone? Let me, a little teaching moment. That's green, right? It probably would be okay because there's green here and it may bring that over. If I wanted to, uh, I'll say kill that, knock that back a little, not make it so green, I would touch what? A little red, right? And it would, it would dull it a little. I mean, oh, just that helps me uh, because, again, that just was sitting in a big dark area by itself. Little dumb things. I could sit here for a half an hour and just, you know, I'll look for two or three minutes. I'll sit down with the painting. I turn it upside down. You know, I do, I do this a lot so that I don't see the scene anymore. I don't see, I'm not trying to see them I'm looking at shapes and, and I can see things better here. Upside down, I notice, see how much more he stands out against that, which is good. That's what I wanted. And I can see that here. The other thing I noticed, again, dumb little things nobody would ever see but me. Nobody would ever notice. But there's an area right here at the bottom, even though this will be framed that this, I, I want to soften that, so, softening it, me. because if we look over here at the, um, the picture, I don't want, it's more, it's more this, this spot right here, this dark spot here, don't like it, so to fix it, done, maybe one little one from up there, that's so much better. And remember, these are corn stalks. There are leaves that run like that, kind of crazy. And there's some, there's even, I think, one here like floating off of a limb or something. I'm not going to put that. So, we'll pretend I'm not going to touch it again. The things that I want to point out that I did that are, I think are important for me to point out that are kind of make or break spots. I did put some of this in and I used a knife. And, and the odd thing is I've been painting for over 20 years. I've never used this as a knife, which was fantastic to touch those in. I would have, I've always taken, you know, these types of knives, which, you know, artists are supposed to use. And it's just an example of, you know, it's just like me using the butt of my brush. It's, it's a use whatever you got to use. But this was perfect to just touch, touch, touch. Um, the other thing I did, 
I did a few things. I straightened this up. I put, you know, these in with the cast shadow. One thing I'll point out is I, I wasn't very happy because uh, this was really dark. And I wanted to put some light up in there. And I know it sounds dumb, but there's, if you look here, up at the very top, it's dark. Really dark, just like I have it here. But there's an area down here that there's reflected light, right? Light's reflecting up into that. So I took a, and I don't know if it shows up, but I took a lighter, this looks cool. It's not light, but it's lighter than what's just above it. And and it, I know that sounds like nobody would have noticed but me, but it, to me, it just was uh, real dark. It just sat out. What the heck is that? The hell? Not that uh, anyone would notice but me. Um, so, you remember I took my palette knife and I left some of those, that initial scraping when I put it on there, leave it alone and then work around it, work into it, but try to leave that, soften it. And that's really all I've done here um, is I took the palette knife or I took this I turned it upside down and I put just a little bit there and a little bit there and a little bit. That's the kind of stuff that uh, I love to do. I, again, I'm completely being open here, sharing how I paint. And, you know, it's, if you paint that way, that's fine. If not, but I like to have a little bit of everything going on in my painting. This is a this is a very key moment to me, and you know, as I put some effort back into here, I took the palette knife. Th these darks weren't here before, but if you look here, there. Can you see that? If you, I asked you like you can answer me. There's a dark here. There's a sharp edge right there, razor sharp, sharpest spot in the painting. That is critical. So you see how I took, mixed up a dark, took my thumb, wiped everything off except the little spot that I wanted to go. I laid that down there and went whew. Then I just softened it in. Took my palette knife, went like that. Mixed this color. Laid that down there, zoop. Mixed a blue that was bluer than the water that I had there. I hit that razor sharp and then I just took my knife and just smooshed that all back and forth there. I mixed this color, which is brighter on purpose. I wanted those final bright spots. I pulled that across, went back and forth, took some more, did that. So this helps make this look like it goes back behind it. Right? I, I like how the water I was left. And of course, I took some, some of this color and just smooshed him around. Took a little bit of palette knife up in here. That's the main thing that I wanted to point out that uh, I did. Did I, and I don't remember, did I do that on camera? Maybe I didn't, I don't remember. Remember this was going through his face and I changed it. I don't remember if I showed you all that. No big deal, you know how to do it. You see me doing this. I hit some more highlights on Matthew because he just really wasn't making sense. Because if we look here, bright, bright, everything's bright. And because of what he's wearing, it just there's not much highlight there. He just doesn't look like, he looks like he's in a different light. So I just chose to fabricate a little bit. Um, put some more highlights, final, those touch highlights. Uh, remember I always say I, I reserve as I'm painting those f brightest brights and darkest darks. I, I always want to be able to go lighter and that's what, if you go back and look at the painting when I last stopped, and now you look at this here, you look at this, these, there's a little bit more highlights touching all over the place, and here, and um, that's it. I did put a little um, 
when, what do you call it thing? Um, yeah, it never worked. It rusted in a year and it just sat there 10 years, but hey, it was part of our lives. So there's that one and uh, we'll get going on another small one. I think we'll do a couple of small ones then go to a big one. Next one will be small, but I'll try to make it something different. Uh, not this same type of a scene. Maybe the people are bigger. Or I'll just have to look through and see what the next one is. But there you go.